orange trigger spoon. 2.4 miles an hour. Just keep forward momentum. Got that camera in the line, so you know that gives him something to fight against, and that's not good. So you want to keep the line tight. It's down about, I don't know, 24, 25 feet on the strike there. Orange trigger spoon, about 2.4 miles an hour. Another pan-sized rainbow. Right there. Woo! <laughs> Quick release on that one. That was cool. Trigger spoons, trigger spoon magnums, trigger spoon pros, trigger spoon juniors, speed spoons, speed spoon pros. Looking for spoons for your trout fishing adventure? Think FHS spoons. You can check them out at fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. I've been getting a lot of good questions by a, by a kayak angler, a fairly new kayak angler that lives in Auburn, California. His name is Adam. And uh, you know, for me, Auburn is right next door. I lived in Auburn for about 12 years myself. And uh, he fishes a lot of the same waters that I fish. And he's been peppering me with questions. You know, he struggled when he first got his kayak back at the beginning of the pandemic. But since then, he's gained a ton of skill. He fished with me at Collins Lake. He's now trolling with two rods. He's catching his share of fish. But, you know, this summer, he's very excited about fishing Sierra Lakes. And uh, he asked me last week, what are my top lure colors for the Sierras? And... Uh, I'm going to share those with Adam and share those with all you guys here on the channel because I think it's useful information. Not only am I going to tell you what colors I prefer, I'm going to tell you why. So I have a saying about High Sierra, you know, color selection. I like to go bold, I like something bright, and I like to go gold, okay? Let's talk a little bit about these first two choices. I got two more choices I'm going to toss out at you. The bold stuff. I like bright lures in the Sierras. My favorite, if you've watched the channel much, you know it's bright, hot orange, just like that orange trigger spoon right there. Now, your bright color may, may be different than mine. You may like pink. Wes loves pink. You might like chartreuse. You might like fire tiger. Doesn't matter what that color is, as long as you have a bright, bold color. Now, when the bold stuff doesn't work, I find myself falling back to gold a lot of the time. I will use these colors any time of the day, morning to night, um, overcast or clear, I will play with these colors. Most Sierra Lakes are fueled by bugs. The primary forage in a lot of the lakes is bugs. Some of the lakes feature minnows. Lakes like Elmanor, they're kind of uh, they're kind of out of the mainstream in terms of Sierra Lakes. Uh, you know, Elmanor is absolutely full of ponds, but it still has a robust insect population. I find when trout are feeding on insects, you know, you can't match a, a, a size 12 mayfly nymph with standard trout gear, okay? Very difficult to match that hatch. So instead of trying to match what the fish are feeding on, show them something that really stands out. Most Sierra fishing, you're gonna be in the top 25, you know, you're kind of chasing that, that spring, that early summer, you know, bite right up the mountainside. You're, you're always fishing where the water's fairly cold. So a lot of the time you're gonna find yourself in the top 25, 30 feet of the water column where your bold colors retain a lot of their pop and a lot of their color. If we were at Shasta dropping this down to 100 feet, it, it wouldn't look vibrant and, and pop like that. And, and you know, at least by the book, um, there would be no benefit to pulling a bright colored spoon 100 feet deep. Personally, I think the fish can still tell, but I don't know how that works and the trout won't tell me. So anyway, I'm gonna have to go by what they say in the books. Um, but top 25, top 30 feet, absolutely. The bright stuff still retains its color. Now, when that's a little too much, I find that gold and to some extent copper outperform chrome for me in the high Sierras. Chrome works, it absolutely works, but if I have to choose between chrome and gold or hammered gold, something like that, I'm going for the gold. I've just caught so many trout on gold cast masters, gold trigger juniors, uh, gold, uh, gold and orange cripple lures. That was one of my favorites for years and years and years. So I just find that that more subtle metal, you know, gold, brass, copper, it just has a little bit subtler flash than your chrome stuff. 
some Sierra Lakes have a lot of color in the water. You know, Davis is, is pretty, pretty stained. It's got a lot of nutrients in it. But most Sierra Lakes are like French meadows. They're very clear, and I just find that the more subdued flash from gold often outperforms the chrome. So those are two of my staples. Let me hang these back up here. And let me show you two of my other favorites. And these, these well, one of these colors, it definitely applies to flies and uh, and other baits and all these colors really apply to plugs and stuff like that so depending on what you're pulling i i still like these colors um i absolutely love black um early and late anytime there's overcast black can be a real winner and when i fly fished i fly fished exclusively for about 10 years when the going got tough black flies were my go-to and, you know, I find myself you know, reaching for the black stuff a lot of times when I'm out on the water, particularly black trolling flies, when the going gets tough. I was at uh, Sugar Pine the other day. There were very few fish around, um, but there were a few, and they, they weren't chasing spoons. In fact, I pulled a um, an orange pinhead for an hour with my underwater camera on it. I did not get one follow. Um, I found that out when I got home, and, and I, I was pretty amazed by that. And that tells me there's not a lot of fish in the lake if I can't get follows on that type of spoon. But I put on a small black fly. I hooked a fish and lost it, and I had two other hits, which was, uh, you know, some small measure of success at a lake where the bite was very tough, and I got the impression that there were very few trout around. I talked to some other anglers. Everybody was getting skunked. I think I was, I was high man of everyone I talked to because I actually hooked a fish. So, black. Go and gets tough. Go to black. Um, early, late, overcast black lures just they flat out perform i don't think guys have enough black lures in their tackle boxes that's why i feature black in every one of my spoon kits you know um trigger spoons trigger juniors the standard speed spoons you know all those lines of lures feature a black spoon because they can be so deadly when the light level is low number four and and you know whose sierra tackle box would be complete without some frog pattern lures they're traditional guys keep fishing them because they work i don't think sierra trout gobble up a lot of frogs but frog pattern lures flat out fish i've always thought that it's because frog patterns are a little bit darker than your traditional you know chrome on chrome or your bright orange stuff like that that's my theory I don't know it's covered with spots it's frog pattern i don't care if you're pulling a maglip or a flatfish or one of my trigger spoons up in the high sierras frog patterns are indispensable some days you can really tune them up on the tried and true frog and uh, who doesn't like pulling a frog pattern i mean look at that that's just that's just fun when you have that on the end of your line you're like man i'm pulling the frog i'm, I'm kind of fired up so in a nutshell that's my color selection for the Sierras. Do I use other colors? Absolutely. I'll mix things up, but those are my staples. That's where I start out. I start out today, I'll start out with either a gold or an orange on one rod and uh, a black, you know, on another. And I'll fish that black spoon until I start getting a, a heavy amount of sun on the water. Then I'll pull that black spoon, kind of depending on what I've seen. If I was hitting fish on the black spoon, I might replace it with a frog. If I was just hitting fish on my on my tried to true orange, I'm gonna run gold on the other rod and vice, vice versa. If I was getting fish on gold, not on the black, when I pull the black, I might put a bright colored orange or something on that other rod and play with it. And you know, I may, I may you know, narrow it down to I'm pulling two spoons of the same color or if the bite's good enough my preferred method is to pull one rod get it out of the way fish with a single rod out of the kayak it's a lot less hassle I don't have to worry about the other rod when I'm fighting a fish I can make really hard sharp maneuvers and stuff like that that's a whole nother discussion I've, I've thrown that out here on the channel before the bite's intense oftentimes especially if you're fishing from a small craft you're ahead of the game if you start eliminating rods from the spread rather than adding rods to the spread um, it's not the same in a boat typically but uh, definitely in the kayak if you can start eliminating rods while getting just as many strikes go for it so Anyway, that's my feeling on High Sierra lure colors. Um, I'll do a video soon about valley and foothill lure colors, which is, 
there's some similarity, but there's a lot of differences too. For now, I'm signing off. I'm Kel Kellogg. If you would like to pick up some gear, trigger spoons, trigger juniors, uh, speed spoons, whatever, go check out my store at fishhuntshoot.com. I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been giving the store, all the support you've been giving the channel. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button, please hit it now. You really help me out by hitting that button. Um, I love seeing that subscriber number climb. And uh, if you subscribe, you're always going to know when I'm on here talking fishing tactics. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.